Yes, hello, welcome back to another edition of Channel 420 News. My name is Richard Johnson, reminding you that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but a blunt a day keeps the c**t away. Indeed, and I am Nick Rod. Yes, Area 51, the secret government location that holds many secrets, and has caused a raving success of a campaign. Area 51 raid, you can't stop us all. What? Did you know that a local Florida man offers UFO abduction insurance at Area 51 rate, but you need an alien signature and it pays $1 per year for 10 million years? Now I say this is a very good year. Man, I don't want to miss out. I want to go on this Area 51 raid. Who knows? We might even find lost footage of the new Star Wars movie. <laughs> well... No, I highly doubt that, but if you want to be in on this raid, then you definitely need our insurance, even though it only pays one dollar a year. Mike St. Lawrence is the man who is in charge of the St. Lawrence Agency in this local Florida vicinity, and he will make sure to help you. He will give you what you need to survive. If you go in that raid but can't come out, he will be the one to help you. But what, what, what if, Richard? What if they have extra thumbnails and extra filters for selfies in Area 51. No, remember, selfies are banned until Russia is stopped with the investigation. But I deleted the app, what more can I do? Stop taking selfies. But what if Area 51 has the cure? No. D, you need to think smart. There is nuts anything related to selfies in Area 51 unless you want to be an idiot who takes one in front of them while you're being shot at. That is the only way you're going to get a selfie in Area 51. There are aliens. Aliens, Dick! That wouldn't make for a great selfie. No, you could have your own pet alien. Or have my own pet alien. Yes. I'm putting a lot of trust in you. But take this. A pen. Yes. I will return. Yes, hello. No, 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 I called the wrong number. Mom, stop calling me. I'm trying to go to Area 51. Buy. Sell. Buy. Sell. Do both. It's up to you. Goodbye. So, Silverman Bags, how do I make money? Well, if you'll be quiet for a second, I'll explain to you. First off, you try to avoid college. Try to avoid any debt that you can possibly avoid. Such as student debt, house debt, and more. And try to take a little bit of that hardened money of yours and put it aside for a rainy day. Now, some days it pours, some days it just is nasty outside. But tell yourself, I want that big house. I want the money. I want the hose. I want all those nasty things. In the business, we have something called market trends. Now, Silverman Bags, what are market trends? Well, I'll explain them to you. Market trends are a certain time of year where certain businesses do better. So, for example, what type of stocks would I invest in during Black Friday? Well, a month before Black Friday, I would look in Amazon, I would look in Best Buy. Now, why would I look into those two different businesses? Well, during that time, people are gonna be buying gifts for their loved ones. And what does that mean? Well, people are going to be going to Best Buy, people are going to be going to Amazon, they're going to be buying stuff. And what does that do to their stocks? It makes them go up! Like an uncontrollable erection. And a month afterwards, sell those stocks, skim off the top, make the money from those stocks. Because if you don't sell too soon, and let it ride it out, then people are going to be returning a lot of the items, and then the money is going to go down. Because you're going to have to return that money to the people. And that's going to make their stocks go back down. So before that happens, you sell, sell, sell. You just skim off the top, put some of that money away for a rainy day, and then you will have the house. Ah, what a lovely day it is for... Oh, what is this? Hello? Richard, what are... What? Richard, say that again. Tacos at Burger King. Are you sure you're not insane? Wait, what? I'll be right back. What happened to Area 51? Change of plans. There are tacos at Burger King, Willie. We have to go right now. Oh, gee, wait. I think we need somebody extra with us. Tatas, are you here? Oh, gee. Hey. Let's roll. Onward. Ah, thank God you got a car, Minnie. Yeah, I know, right? How on earth did you get this? 
Um, well, there was this little Slytherin bitch who didn't know what he was talking about. Um, he kept talking about how Crimes of Grindelwald is an exceptional movie. I still and, haven't seen it. Well, you're not missing much, Willie. And you know what? I stole it from him because he was being a little bitch. It well, happens. Well, that is how Slytherins work around here. You guys have... think Hufflepuffs are sweet and innocent? No. And all this time I thought Hufflepuffs were innocent. Well, I, I, was took wrong. The I took the quiz earlier today. What's wrong with you, Willie? Well, apparently I'm a Ravenclaw. <laughs> well, then, I am a Gryffindor. We have three houses in the car. Off to Burger King. We're not sponsored. Jesus, how many rules are there? This oh. Hello, and welcome back to another movie talk here with me, Fargus. And yes, sequelitis is sweeping the nation of America. Another sequel is getting added to a movie. They're making Zombieland 2. Yes, no one asked for it. Well, they did ask for it back then, uh, back in, like, years beforehand when it came out, but I guess they decided, oh, let's make a sequel. And yes, Lex Luthor is back as Jesse Eisenberg once again, and Woody Harrelson is reprising his role. <sighs> now, I have seen the trailer, so what happens? They, it's a bunch of comedy with zombies. What is this, gonna be The Walking Dead? They've done zombies millions of times, what are they gonna do, something new? <sighs> Honestly, but they break into the White House. Honestly, that's what I do if there's a zombie apocalypse. I'd sit in that chair and be like, you know what? Let's kill some more zombies and chill out in the White House, because where else would they go? Honestly, everywhere else has been raided by zombies, but this takes place a few years after because they're obviously all, all grown up. What, do, what are you going to do? You can't make a sequel in the same year because the actors are obviously way older. And you know what? I'm glad Woody Harrelson is back doing his thing. What what else are they gonna do? Make a Zombie Land 3 with completely new characters after Zombie Land 2? No, if they kill Woody Harrelson off in this movie, I will be avenged. Because we all seen what Negan can do to main characters. That better not happen with Zombie Land 2. Why must you kill off all our favorite characters in zombie movies? It's time to stop! It's time to save the zombie trilogy and sequelitis. Why is there sequelitis? Some movies are good, some movies are bad. You can't make a sequel out of everything. <sighs> but yes, that was Zombie Land 2. I hope you enjoy. Trailer in the description below if you want to see for yourself. <sighs> right, I'm, I'm getting a call. <laughs> Who's calling me? Yes, what is it? Another sequel? What is it this time? Death Note 2, are you serious? That was a complete ripoff of the original anime the first time. Oh my, oh my. Oh, we're here. We're, we are here, Mindy. Yeah, but. I do not know what to expect. What do you guys think about the Burger King taco? I'm very afraid of this. I don't think I've ever been somewhere where they had burgers and tacos. I could be wrong, but still, this should be interesting, so. For a second, I thought we were going to Taco Bell, but nope, Burger King it is. <laughs> oh, they're only a dollar. They're, oh, they're called crispy tacos! Now that is how you sell. Listen to Silver Men Bags on marketing. Can I get, uh, two Burger King tacos? Two tacos? Yes, please. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you! Uh, thank you! Ah, delicious. Okay. Oh, gee, we got the tacos! Delicious. Ah, well, let's see if we don't throw up after this. If we do, really, I'm shoving these up your anus. I don't want that! I don't think it'll make him taste any better, though. It's so cute. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Why oh, gee. They... Oh. They look so... Soggy! Yeah. I think these are pre-made, actually. Because you he gave them to us really, really quickly. So... That explains a lot. Are you ready? Huh? Here, 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 give me that half. Here we go. We're going down together. Mm. <laughs> Is it a pasta thing? Sick, are you okay? Oh, oh gee. Why would. Why is it so mushy? I don't I, like this. I. 
I... I... This is false advertising. This is not a taco. Leave that to Taco Bell. And now, I'm going to wash my mouth out with acid. I'm going to eat it because I don't waste money. I don't like this texture. Oh Wait, Dick, are you okay? Oh my. No! Oh my. No! I don't know what's happening. Tell Richard to give me money. Oh my! Oh gee! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Hello again, uh, Dickerod. Oh my! How was the Burger King a taco? Oh my! Ah, oh, oh, Richard, that was the emoji movie of tacos. It was horrible. It was so soggy and preheated. It they already had it made, so it wasn't even fresh. The meat was so soggy. The cheese didn't even taste good. That is a sin. How can you not make cheese taste good? Am I? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. As much as we would like to give you a uh, proper send off like we always do, thank uh, you for tuning in to Channel 420 News. Uh, we have to take Dick Rod to get his stomach pumped now. Please it. Add blaze it. Leave it to Taco Bell. Oh. Or go to a food truck for real tacos. Yep.